Today, we will learn remaining menu types for import-export using CSV file. When you don't have any menus in Menu app and want to use import feature, you can download an empty CSV file with all column headings, so you don't need to remember those headings. Make sure not to change sequence of columns in downloaded CSV file. We will create a category menu today. So write category page as menu type. Write any menu title here. We will choose shop as menu title. Skip some columns if not needed. See group name column. Let's check our group name in menu app. Go to menu groups. See, sample menu group as group title. Paste the same here. Now, see parent menu column. If we want to create this menu in root, we need to keep this column empty. Let's check subcolumn layout. At first, we will create only one column layout. For one column layout, we will choose left align for submenus. Set status enabled to display menu in frontend. C. Category column. Now, we will choose one category for this menu item. See here, shop category. It has three subcategories. Write the path of category. These are four columns for custom details of categories. Like if you want to show category image in menu, show subcategories automatically, showing images for subcategories, and custom image for category. We will write yes to show subcategories automatically. Remain other columns empty if you don't want to put any details for them. Now, set permissions for customer groups. Set window target for menu links. C. Other columns. As we don't need other details for category menu, we will keep them empty. Now, save the file. We will upload the CSV in import section of menu app. You can check uploaded menu items in menu items tab. C. Shop menu here. Please remember to publish every time when you made any changes in menu app. Check front end after publishing. See shop menu with its subcategories. Show auto sub column will display subcategories for each level. Let's create category page menu item with different layout. We will use same category to learn layout difference. So write shop one here. Enter the same group name. We will create root menu, so keep parent menu empty. Now, we will create two column layout to show category menu differently. Set submenu align and status for this menu item. And write the same shop category. Keep show auto sub column empty or write no here. Set customer group permission and window target for this category menu item. We don't need other details right now. Let's introduce a new menu type. Go to menu app. Menu items tab. Select group in menu type drop down. This type is same like other types, but will be hidden for all menus in front end. It will be used to separate columns among other menu items. Write group in menu type column. We will name this type as G1. Menu group will be the same. Create this group below shop one menu item to create a different layout. So write path according to it. 
We will create two columns of each having one column layout for shop one menu item. Set submenu align and status here. As this is as a group menu type, we don't need to put any category details or product web page anything for this menu type. Set customer group permissions and window target. Now, we will create submenus for shop one menu item. For subcategory details, go to your store. Open category list. See, three subcategories for shop category. We will create one by one. Write man here. Create man category menu under G1 column. So right path is shop1 slash g1. Fill other columns same as group g1. Write men category path from your store in category column. It will be shop slash men. Now, we will create another category menu type in G1 group. We will create women category menu item here. Same as men category menu item. Let's create second column, G2 same as G1. Now, Create a category menu type under G2. We will create accessories category menu item here. Fill the column same like man and women menu item. But put it under G2. This is all done for first level of category tree. But if you want to show subcategory list, you can also choose show auto sub option for men and women menu item. Let's upload these menu items to menu app. Please select bulk insert option to avoid duplicating of menu items when you modify the same CSV file. C. Menu structure we have created. Now, we will publish these menus to C in frontend. C. Different layout for shop category. Auto subcategories in first column and accessories in second. You can use this type structure to show images using static content. Now, we will learn about third different layout for the same category. Create a custom URL as a root menu item. No need of category for this menu type. We will learn other columns in this menu item. We will display a custom image with this menu item. Use these two columns for it. Write show and show hide a thumbnail column. Now, for custom image name, go to menu app. Select custom URL in menu type drop down. You will see custom image fields in advanced options tab. 
you need to upload thumbnail image in your store's image manager. You just need to put a proper image name in menu app for it. We will display home icon as thumbnail. Now, set a URL for this menu type. We will use home page link as we have used home icon thumbnail for this menu item. We will name it as shop2 to show the same category with another different structure. Let's change other columns for new structure. We will create three column layout for this menu item. Let's have a different submenu alignment for this menu item. Open menu app. Open submenu align drop down. You will see full width plus mouse hover slash click. This option will create submenu in full width and open third level submenus on mouse hover or mouse click. Let's create third column for shop 2 menu item. Create a group menu item as G5 same as G3 and G4 we have created. You can put any product page link, web page or blog anything in any column under group menu type. We will create another category menu item. We will choose garden from big commerce default category list for this menu item. We have all set for three column layout in full width but we will see about how to display label or badges on any menu item. Check last four columns for labels. Check menu app. Third tab in menu item form. It shows required fields to show label on menu item. We will display sale badge on garden menu item. You can choose any color from color picker. Let's upload the CSV file to see this menu items in your store. We will append the CSV file directly to old menu items. You can expand and collapse menu items. C. Duplicate shop menus as we have appended menu items and didn't delete first shop menu from CSV file. Now, we will delete it from here. Check both options and delete menu as per your requirement. Now, we will publish new menu items and check in front end. C. Shop 2 menu item with 3 column layout in full width. Men and women will show their sub-categories on mouse hover. A sale badge on garden menu. Look, home icon thumbnail with shop 2 menu. This is how you can create different types of menu structure using CSV file and menu app. Now, we will see a different align menu for main menu. Go to menu groups. C. We have displayed Mega Menu in horizontal. We will edit this menu group and change it. Select Vertical in Alignment drop down. Publish again to see the changes.
you need to place the short code in the right location to properly display the vertical menu. We have added the short code in sidebar and excluded it from the navigation bar on category pages. See the vertical layout of all menus we have created. This is all about import export functionality of Mega Menu app. Thank you for watching this video.